Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this part, I will show you how to install cylinders into the cases. Case actually. First of all, you need to know that uh, it is very important to use the high quality O-rings on on the liners. Uh, I saw some people uh, using some cheap O-rings during rebuild. It is not good. You know, you need to know that OM O-rings are very good quality, and if you want to uh, use not OM O-rings, you need to buy a high quality Viton O-rings. You can buy them in some good uh, local shops. Generally, I'm using the the same di diameter of O-ring, but not OM ones because I found them. Uh, it's just a ripoff, okay? The o ring is worth like one dollar and they are selling them for much more. Generally, as you can see, I uh, lubricated them with oil, uh, but we have to be sure that the row inside of this of those um, cylinders where o ring must be seated, it has to be clean without any dirt or partic uh, particles inside. So if we are using the uh, the uh, old pistons or, or cylinders, it is uh, it is important to mark them which is front, which is um, rear. For me, it's not that important. Here you can see dots. Okay, as you can see, they are not in the middle of the of the uh, liner cylinder they are uh, moved a little bit to, to to one side because as you can see uh, the the holes in cases are also not equal okay so in this in this uh, uh, in this position we need to install uh, those uh, dots on cylinder so they are facing a little bit on the right side Okay, don't forget to lubricate a cylinder before installation. Now, the hard, the, the hardest part of this process in here, uh, the first ring is uh, pretty, uh, pretty hard, so it is not that easy to compress it. But a uh, cylinder on the lower part has a small, bigger diameter, so it is easier to install those rings on uh, uh, into the uh, cylinder you need to jiggle it about a little bit and but not to use uh, too much force it has to go pretty pretty easy as long as uh, rings are on its uh, on their proper position <clears throat> generally it is uh, easy of course to break or bend a ring so be gentle just uh, take your time do not ha uh, rush it just be patient move it a little bit uh, forward backward on the sides watch it uh, inspect it and you will see that uh, that uh, it, it's not that uh, hard actually as you can see i have some troubles usually i don't have them i don't know why this time it is not that easy to put them on 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 place but i didn't want to you know cut the movie and so you can see that sometimes they are just you know uh, a little bit pain to to push in but if you you know just be pa patient and careful enough it will be done uh, what else i can say here uh, as you can see i'm rotating cylinder a little bit and some people might be worried about that I might rotate rings as well uh, so to uh, to explain it it is not that important because rings are rotating themselves during the engine work the the important stuff is to avoid rings to be in a one line the actually not rings but uh, the the gaps which are in rings 
uh, to not be in the one line during the engine startup. They have to be rotated by, for example, 120 degrees. It will minimize our uh, probability of you know, having those rings in the, in the one row. But this is due to it, if they are in the same row, there might be some you know, um, drop of compression or oil coming into the head area. So we don't want to do that. We want to avoid it. Okay, so now I think I got it and I'm just pressing that cylinder, cylinder gently downwards. And first one is in place. I'm not sure if I mentioned before, when you, we install uh, pistons on, on, on rods, we need to uh, be sure that that, uh, that piston uh, arrow, which is on the top of a piston, is facing is facing uh, exhaust ports on head. Okay, just a little quick inspection, but by the by the force needed to push down the cylinder, I was quite sure that it was uh, it was uh, everything fine with with rings. Now we can see that this arrow, arrow facing the, the exhaust exhaust. Okay, never uh, too much oil is, is never a problem. It is better to have uh, more uh, oil than not enough. So here we are doing the same. We need to compress rings and install cylinder. It is of course important to uh, to primarily put the cylinder in a good uh, good position not clockwise for example because we don't want to rotate it too much we can jiggle it a little bit we can move it forward uh, backwards on the sides but we don't want to you know rotate it by 100 degrees okay my piston is shining like oh my god like it is worth like what 1000 bucks nice I'm not sure if there were version of uh, ASO uh, pistons for a 450. Um, um, actually, I don't know, but I was looking for them, but I couldn't find them, so I just bought a new type of DD pistons. And what what figured out when they came came in, they were without uh, piston rings, so I had to buy them from uh, from another source, additional costs. So. Uh, you know, I wasn't expected that, but after all, I, I have all all parts I needed, and now the, the actually right now the, the engine is fully done. I'm just recording the audio for for previously made videos. If anyone is interested, currently I'm working with uh, with 550 engine, uh, which I have to put together and put in this beautiful 550 which is standing just next to me actually it will be for for sale on uh, during the, the after a new year probably on early spring but going back to engine as you can see sometimes it, it's going very very easy sometimes you need to be patient and and don't rush it. There is uh, actually there is there are some tools which could uh, help here, but I don't have them actually. I am just usually taking a few minutes more uh, to do it manually by my hands. Problem is that there is on this on this side as you can see the case is bigger. 
bigger or smaller i think it's it's bigger so it's uh, there is uh, less less space to operate that's why there are some small problems you know putting this together okay here we go you see a little bit jigging and there we go as you can see okay i had to rotate this uh, this piston unfortunately I didn't uh, pay attention enough to to have it properly. Actually, I put it in a good in a good place, but during this whole process, I moved this piece, this uh, cylinder too many times and it just moved too my too many too much. Okay, and now okay. And now piston is in place. Piston, cylinder, not piston. 